Let's switch now to 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings to continue our team coverage with a show of support from Hampton Roads. She's live outside the LGBT Community Center in Norfolk with more. Brandy. Yeah, Anita, it'll be here in just an hour that dozens will gather not just to remember the victims of this tragedy in Orlando, but also to have a conversation and a rally about what happens next. All that while at least one Hampton Roads business is working to help the victims. The images are heartbreaking, the details shocking. For some members of the LGBT community, there was an added layer of emotion. Really, anger was the first thing I thought of. But the anger led Alan Phillips to action. He and his co-owner decided to give some proceeds from a weekly fundraiser at their nightclub, the Rainbow Cactus, to help the victims of the tragedy in Orlando. There's not a lot we can do. Um, I can't go down there and physically give them a helping hand, but we can send them something that might help. It's just hurtful to your being that um, they were targeted. The LGBT Center of Hampton Road supports businesses like the Rainbow Cactus. Center Executive Director Stacy Walls Beagle says more should be done to safeguard what she calls a vulnerable community. This is a targeted hate crime. This is an intentional crime against the LGBT community. They specifically went into an LGBT venue where mostly LGBT people go. And so there is has got to be a focus on the LGBT community and protecting the community. She says that has not been part of the conversation happening in the aftermath of the mass shooting. That's why her organization is hosting a community conversation and rally, all hoping that no one ever has to see this again. And again, the uh, preparation for the conversation and the rally well underway. You can see setup is done here. It starts in about an hour here at 7 p.m. Also starting at 7, there will be a vigil happening tonight at ODU. For now, live in Norfolk, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.